Have you ever taken a sip of Dr. Pepper and thought, what am I even tasting? Is it cherry? Is it cola? Something spicy? Something fruity? Well, you're not alone. Dr. Pepper has been baffling taste buds for over a century, and it's no accident. This drink was designed to be mysterious, but today we're diving in to uncover what exactly is Dr. Pepper, how it's made, and why nobody can quite pin it down. Let's get into it right here on History of Simple Things. Let's rewind to 1885 in Waco, Texas. A young pharmacist named Charles Alderton was working at Morrison's Old Corner Drug Store, where he created a unique soft drink that didn't taste like the usual cola flavors dominating soda fountains at the time. Customers loved it. And before long, Dr. Pepper's phosphates became simply Dr. Pepper. Interestingly, it was invented a full year before Coca-Cola, and from the beginning, its formula was kept tightly under wraps. To this day, the recipe is famously divided into two halves, stored in separate bank vaults. So what's so secret that it has to be kept under lock and key? Let's start with what we do know. If you look at a can of Dr. Pepper, the ingredients list includes carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, or sugar, depending on the region, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural and artificial flavors, sodium benzoate as a preservative, caffeine pretty standard for a soft drink, but natural and artificial flavors? That's where things get interesting, because in that one vague phrase is where the magic of Dr. Pepper hides. Unlike most sodas that are based on a single flavor, cola, orange, lemon, lime, Dr. Pepper claims to have a blend of 23 flavors. Now, Dr. Pepper has never officially confirmed what these 23 flavors are, but over the years, curious fans and flavor detectives have tried to decode them. Some say it's all just marketing hype, but others are convinced the flavors are real, layered, and detectable. A popular theory floating around lists these 23 flavors. Almond Amaretto, Blackberry Black Licorice, Caramel Carrot, Cherry Clove, Cola, Ginger Juniper Lemon Molasses, Nutmeg, Orange Plum Prune, Raspberry Root Beer Rum, Tomato Vanilla Pepper. Wait, Carrot, Tomato, Black Licorice? That might sound like a strange soup of ingredients, but when combined in small, balanced quantities, it could explain the drink's complex and layered taste. Let's be real, though. Are we really tasting all 23 of these in every sip? Not exactly. But your taste buds are picking up hints of spicy, sweet, fruity, and even earthy flavors that make Dr. Pepper taste unlike anything else. For years, a popular myth claimed that Dr. Pepper contains prune juice. It was so widespread that the company had to address it directly. And the answer? No. There is absolutely no prune juice in Dr. Pepper. So where did that rumor come from? Probably because prune is one of the theorized 23 flavors and because the drink does have a dark, fruity undertone that could resemble prunes. But officially, no prunes. So back to that mysterious line. Natural and artificial flavors. What does that actually mean? In food science, natural flavors are derived from real plant or animal sources. These can be fruits, spices, herbs, roots, or even bark. The flavor compounds are extracted and used in minute amounts to create complex tastes. Artificial flavors are chemically synthesized to mimic those same tastes. Most soft drinks use a mix of both, and Dr. Pepper's unique identity likely comes from the way these flavors are layered, not just thrown in, but built like a perfume. You get a little cherry at the start, some clove in the middle, maybe a vanilla finish, 
So while we might never see the exact list, flavor experts believe that the drink is built using essential oils, natural extracts, and synthesized flavor chemicals blended in precise proportions. Here's the fun part. According to legend, the top secret recipe is so valuable that it's split into two halves, each kept in a separate Dallas bank vault. Only a few people in the world know the full formula, and they're sworn to secrecy. Even employees who work in the flavoring department reportedly only know part of the mixture they're handling. So if you're wondering why no other drink can replicate Dr. Pepper, that's a big reason. Dr. Pepper does contain caffeine, about 41 milligrams per 12 ounce can, a little more than a regular Pepsi, but less than a cup of coffee. So it's a mild stimulant, which is part of why it feels energizing. Like many sodas, it also includes phosphoric acid, which gives it a slight tang and helps preserve the flavor. The acidity, combined with the carbonation, makes it more refreshing, but also means it's best enjoyed in moderation if you're watching your dental health. So what exactly is in Dr. Pepper? Here's the honest truth. It's a carbonated drink sweetened with high fructose corn syrup or sugar, flavored with a complex, closely guarded blend of natural and artificial ingredients designed to taste like a mix of fruit, spice, cola, and vanilla. The exact formula, still a mystery, but its success lies in the perfect balance of flavors that no one else has quite managed to copy. Whether you love it, hate it, or just sip it in confusion, Dr. Pepper stands in a league of its own. It's not quite a cola, not really a root beer, and definitely not just cherry soda. It's a flavor cocktail built to be intriguing, mysterious, and unforgettable. So the next time you crack open a can, try to taste the layers. See if you can catch the clove or that subtle hit of almond. Because while we may never get the full recipe, the fun is in the guessing. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.